Guys, so this video is going to take, uh, I guess, the place for the day 16 of the 28 days of Black American History Month uh, video that I lost last night. I was having some technical issues. Um, I think Instagram, uh, I don't know, some issues with like Instagram and like saving my video, but it ended up uh, deleting. So, which is all good. I realized today. <laughs> We in the Mercury retrograde, so shit is just crazy in general. So I'm just going with the flow. Um, and I said I was just going to jump back in. Um, my intention for the video yesterday was to shine a little light. I actually, if you saw my most recent post, I uh, cooked me a little soul food dinner. You know, I was feeling in the mood, wanted a little taste of home. So cooked me some soul food. And I made tap at the Browns uh, vegan dinner. Uh, they turned out so good. I did a little like uh, taste testing for it and the whole thing, and it ended up deleting, which <laughs> I'm past it, I promise. Um, but they were really good. Like, I saw everybody doing them. Um, and I wanted a little, you know, certain things when you go vegan, you feel like you're gonna end up having to just dismiss all together. And Devil Eggs was definitely one of them. I definitely missed them. Um, I'm actually on my way to the store. I need to get uh, more mushrooms because um, I made a little more than I probably should have. Um, but I love double eggs, so I'm about to tear that all the way up. Um, but they turned out really good. Um, my advice for anybody that decides to try them, though, what I did, I ended up actually soaking them longer um, than I probably should have in the pickle juice. Um, I actually ended up soaking them for like two days. Um, I intended to make them at the end of the uh, day that I originally um, had made them, but it ended up not working out that way. So I ended up having to actually um, wait until the next day. Um, and by then they were a little, they were still good. It wasn't like a, a complete issue, um, but they were a little soggier than I probably would assume they would they should have been but that's the thing also about being vegan like you can always try it out the next time i hope this video isn't uh super windy um which if it is just go along with it i'm actually on my way to the store like i said before um but yeah they turned out super good um i didn't even have the i know one of the ingredients that i was missing was the smoked or the black the smoked salt, the smoked black salt or something like that. They didn't have it at the store whenever I went. So I ended up improvising and what I did was I put some uh, some salt and pepper in um, the pickle jar and I shook it up real good. Um, and it did the job, like everything else turned out, I mean, it turned out perfect. I, I really loved it. It tastes just like the deviled eggs. Um, so yeah, I did that. I wanted to share. I had my little, my little, my little platter, my little uh, slab. Be able to check it out. A little taste test. Um, but you can definitely see the picture on my post. Um, I highly recommend y'all give it a try. Um, and it kind of low-key inspired uh, me to do a video about just like black vegan uh, foods, just in general, and just to talk about uh, my vegan journey because I know in the uh, last one that I did, I didn't necessarily. I guess the last video that I did on food, um, it was more so like our cultural foods that, you know, we were over, I like that. but I didn't even disclose that like I was vegan. Um, and something, you know, whenever I was thinking about it, something that made me really want to uh, talk about it in this live um, was just the fact that I actually, you know, I've been vegan for three years and a huge, um, something that I really, something that was really important to me in sort of transitioning into more of a vegan diet was, um, that I learned how to incorporate my favorite foods, my traditional cultural foods, um, that I didn't have to leave those behind that I could, you know, make them vegan, um, and not sort of miss out on it. Um, which I've done, and honestly, like, I'm so satisfied. Um, it looks, <laughs> it, it's good, it's, it's as good as it looks, honestly. Um, and that's not even to suit my own little horn, but I'll be working it out in the kitchen, y'all. And I wasn't even, whenever I, whenever I first started, um, my vegan journey, I wasn't the best cook by any means. Like, I knew enough to get by, I knew enough to sustain myself. Um, but I wasn't nobody's like cook. <laughs> I 
I, I got the job done. Um, and honestly, like, I'm such a fan of, like, I love to cook now. Like, being vegan, you kind of have to learn, but it's one of those things, like, you, you, you're exploring, you're going through this journey of, like, learning how to really, like, um, I mean, feed yourself, but, like, you have to be creative. You have to, um, you have to be creative with it. And it's, it's, it's super fun and you feel so fulfilled, or at least I do. I feel so fulfilled whenever I accomplish, um, you know, the meal. Cause I mean, when you follow these recipes and stuff, you know, by the end of it, you gonna get what you set out to do. And if you don't, like with these devil eggs, like, you know, there were certain steps that I kind of messed up on, right? But in the end, you know, I got what I got and I was still satisfied with it. And the next time, I can do it better. I think people think that going vegan is just this super, like, strenuous, hard thing, and it doesn't have to be. Um, uh, what made me want to go vegan, um, I know, let's see, I've been vegan for, like, three years, so around that time, I was in this huge transition. I was coming out of a relationship and all of that, and I wanted to make some new changes within my life. I know within my relationship, we was eating a lot of meat. And I'm from the South, so we eat meat, but like the way we was eating it, child, I wasn't used to all of that. Uh, we cut out, me and my family, whenever I was younger, uh, probably like high school and sort of thing. Well, I actually ended up getting remarried, and uh, my stepdaddy didn't eat pork, so we would incorporate like turkey bacon and, you know, turkey, you know, bacon, uh, tur turkey pork. <laughs> substitutes um and that sort of thing um and occasionally you know we do our pork chops and stuff like that like we weren't doing the most but um slowly but surely and we wouldn't even have pork chops like all the time like and then slowly but surely after I moved out and went to college and did my own thing like I just cut it out all together I wasn't much of a fan of like hot dogs and stuff honestly uh I remember <laughs> I remember actually back in high school being so turned off by pork after we had to dissect those fetal pigs. Oh, no. I was done. Like, that smell is something about... And I mean, obviously I'm vegan now. Um, after that, I'd had a hot dog or two, but it wasn't... Like, hot dogs just wasn't my thing. Um, but, like, just pork in general. I'm um, just learning about... Uh, learning about... Um, how disgusting the animal is um and just learning all of these things honestly and not to even shit on pigs because i love pigs but to eat them that just it, i don't know don't want to judge anybody that eats pigs enjoy your pig i'm gonna enjoy what i enjoy um and that's the thing too like i never want to um force veganism on anybody um because it's not for everybody um, figured, literally and figuratively, um, some people can't, you know, their body can't adjust to a vegan diet. Um, some people just aren't built for it. And, you know, there's other alternatives um, as well, you know what I mean? You can be ovo vegetarian, you can, um, which is eggs, you can only eat eggs, pescatarian, only eat fish. Um, you know, there's different alternatives. Even just, uh, just... Oh, child, I need to stop working out. I'm out of breath. <laughs> just walked up the street. <laughs> um, even just like knowing who's uh, processing like your meats and stuff like that, like what farms, how they're being fed, um, you know, whether or not they're uh, preserving them, using preservatives and things like that, um, whether or not, um, whether or not, you know, uh, the genetically modified in any way like stuff like that um you can learn all of that stuff and really be uh have a full understanding of you know where your food is coming from because like one thing for me child i didn't need to watch all of those like videos of like these cows being like slaughtered and like child like all of those like documentaries that just freak you out i didn't need any of that um i remember if y'all remember those videos of like the um cows who were like injected with like all of those hormones how they're like leaning over and that whole thing that was enough for me child that was enough for me um that and just learning too because i used to work at a restaurant which a lot of you frequent i'm sure 
Um, I remember they had the pink goo scare. Um, child. The pink goo scare, uh, where they were injecting, like, these animals with, um, some sort of, like, pink preservative. I don't know. I, I couldn't deal. Um, it was really weird. Um, so yeah, just learning, and at the time, whenever those stories was breaking, um, let me see. No, I probably was working down there in like 2008, back whenever I was in high school. But I remember it was like a reoccurring story that was breaking in terms of that particular restaurant. Um, so yeah, just learning just as I went, learning about different foods and learning about how America kind of produces these foods and um, preserves them. And like, like I said, pumps these animals up with like hormones and stuff and how ultimately... It's capitalism, right? Like, they don't really care about <laughs> what happens to us. They're trying to make money. Um, and whenever they're injecting these animals with all of this stuff, um, we're eating it, right? We're consuming this stuff. So it's just not, it's not, yeah, it's just, it doesn't make the most sense. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a super advocate for veganism, even though I'm not the one that's going to be like, like, I'm definitely not going to you know, force it on anybody or be the one that's going to be talking about it all the time. This is probably the most that I've talked about it. Um, I've seen the health benefits. Like whenever I talk to my family and stuff like that, you know, I come from a family of folks who are in the medical field and things like that. And we'll have conversations sometimes um, about, you know, the different um, medical issues that run in our family, um, like heart disease, diabetes, um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, the studies show that, like, changing your diet can really drastically change those things. And, like, folks are quick to, like, shoot it down, but it's one of those things that's, like, you want to take care of your temple. You want to take care of your body. Like, you only get one. So it's, like, you don't want to, like, be out here just consuming just anything and allowing it to break you down. And my thing was, you know, I started to see it regularly that, like, my family and people that I love were having these issues. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, let me get this together early. So I'm not, you know, as I grow older, I'm not having all those issues. Um, so I was very adamant about making those changes and stuff, man. You know, like I said, you know, I I wanted to make it fun because I also didn't want to eat salads for the rest of my life. You feel me? Like, definitely wasn't in that sort of space of like, oh, you know, no, I want to eat well. Like, I'm used to eating well, um, and I want to continue to eat well. And this, I think people have painted this picture to where going vegan, you can't have the things that you love. And something about our particular culture like our culture black american culture which you realize is although there are meats and there are foods and stuff um that aren't necessarily the healthiest we fry foods um, a lot as well the majority of our diet is plant-based um a lot of people don't speak on that but uh the, the uh vast uh, majority of our diet is plant-based is a plant-based diet um already so we already winning it's just a matter of being able to flip it. And I find it so interesting and so dope to see so many black folks, Tab Tabitha included, um, really um, going on this journey to make veganism accessible for black folks. Like, you know, I you hear the thing of, you know, oh, that's, you know, white people stuff and all this and that. And it's just like, well, no, it's not. You know what I mean? No, it's not. Um, it's healthy people stuff. It's people who want to live long lives and want to be around to see their kids and grandkids thrive and want to be able to, you know, pass something on to their family, which I, like I said, again, I was very adamant about showing, yo, we can still eat good. We can still eat what we eat. We just have to do it a little bit different. Or we can if that's what we choose. Because ultimately it is a choice. Um, but for me, like, whenever I go home for Thanksgiving, child, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Y'all already know. But my peoples do. If I want to pull up and I want to, you know, enjoy my family, which they don't celebrate it in that way either, child. It's just another excuse for us to uh, eat. <laughs> Period. Um, 
I want to be able to eat with my folks. You know what I mean? I want to be able to enjoy my food. I want to be able to, you know, pull up my plate, introduce them to new things, cook with them. You know what I mean? Whether it be um, Thanksgiving or Christmas, don't celebrate Christmas either. But if I want to pull up with my folks and enjoy my family and enjoy our culture, I'm, I'm going to, I I'm want to know those things and I want to be able to pass it on. And I want to be able to still have that sense of self that comes with um, eating our foods. Because, you know, we, I think so many things just come so second nature to us as a community, as uh, black Americans. Like, some of this stuff just comes second nature. But, like, our food is such a huge part of our cultural identity. Our identity is, as black folks, as Americans. Um, and it, it's... it's it's such an identifier, you know what I mean? It's such an American identifier just in general. Um, everybody know what soul food is, um, even if they don't know where it all comes from. Uh, so I didn't want to lose that. Um, and I guess my intention for making a video was just to let people know, like, shit, you can still eat good. Just, you know, you want to also be taking care of yourself. You also want to be looking out, you know, for your health and stuff like that. And making sure you you making better choices especially now during uh covid which is insane um you definitely want to be making better choices right now and know what you consume what you put in your body um because you don't want to be breaking down out here y'all um it's a, it's a lot going on and and truly when you look at the studies it all shows that when you make those sort of changes, even if it's just a few changes here and there, I mean, it all helps. It all helps. Um, so, yeah, I want to show y'all before I go, because I'm, I'm here at the store, kind of just like Roman at this point. Um, I wanted to show y'all a few of the books that I um, had got, I think, last year. I invested in these books, maybe the year before, probably. Um... Black American, I had these in my bag from last night. Uh, and I tried to do the other video, child. Uh, <laughs> let me stop. I said I was going to move on. I was going to let it go. Um, but yeah, one of the uh, authors I found on... Give me a second, y'all. I'm trying to pull it out of my bag. Um, I found her on YouTube. Um... She was doing like tutorials on uh, different like black American foods. I was actually trying to figure out how to fry chicken because I had me some vegan <laughs> cauliflower chicken child. And I was trying to recreate that because it's smack. And y'all talk y'all junk now, but y'all don't know. I mean, that, uh, that cauliflower chicken is a one. Um, but her name is Janae Claiborne. And she does sweet potato soul. 100 easy vegan recipes for the southern flavors of smoke sugar spice and soul and homegirl cooks a mean cauliflower chicken um which i think is featured here on the front um black american dishes that you can definitely try out she's so dope i highly recommend her um i also her personality is just great too she's gorgeous as well this is her on the back miss janae check her out um somebody asked last night where you can get these um i recommend that you guys uh ooh, i recommend that you guys buy directly from the author so a lot of the time they'll have um websites where you can buy these things from um you can uh, buy them directly from the publishers um i highly recommend buying um from your black home bookstores but at the very least you can buy from amazon um because they're there um amazon definitely takes a percentage out which is why i prefer you buy it directly from them but you know whatever it supports your black owned bookstores because i'm sure they carry them as well the second i wanted to recommend is brian terry's vegan soul kitchen uh fresh healthy and creative african-american cuisine super dope um what i love about his book is that he's very much so uh He's like a chef, and he's super creative with how he's put this uh, cookbook together. Um, each, you know, he, he does um, every course, so every meal course, um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizers, um, desserts, and things like that. He even does, like, um, 
just a little bit of light. <laughs> he even does um, drinks. So like uh, he has a drink menu that he does. And what I love about his book is that he um, pairs each dish with music. So like as you're cooking, he turn on the music and he really infuses like our culture within these meals and stuff. And he also has other books that you can purchase. Um, he he uh, has... Uh, others with uh, black American cuisine but he also um, does like fusion stuff so like diasporic fusion stuff um, black folks from other countries they're different foods and cultural foods and stuff like that um, he does um, he has tons of stuff definitely check him out um, super great guy I've seen his stuff everywhere and I just had to support him um, but yeah I definitely wanted to shine light on them y'all if y'all have any questions feel free to reach out um, highly recommend the vegan diet but if it's not for you it's not for you definitely just wanted to have a quick conversation about it and show some love to those authors and tabitha brown who did it with those double a's y'all she killed that she's also um uh releasing books uh soon and she has tons of other stuff i'm super proud of her i actually got to meet her on set once um and she was the biggest sweetheart we had the longest conversation this was free this boom of hers that's going down so i'm super proud of her um and proud uh as a north carolinian that she's doing her thing um so yeah with that being said y'all i'm gonna get out of here do what i gotta do and i will talk to y'all later peace